Ladies and gentlemen, Devolver Digital's new, very permanent CEO, Cinco Miller. Yes! Boom! Look at that. Thank you, guys. Thank you. And thank you so much for coming to our little shindig here at the Dave Lang Memorial Theater. What an event, am I right? Big deal. Heckin' big deal. You give it all the way up for the expo, everybody. Yes! Look at that! That's all you. You're killing it. Killing it. And you know what? So are we. So are we. Lots of changes at Devolver since the last time we were here. Lots of changes. Lots of progress. Synergies aligned. Efficiencies modulated. New management in a bold new direction. And we couldn't have done any of that without all of you. We've stepped it up, you guys. Stepped it all the way up. We've examined the industry and our place in it. We've worked hard to widen our excellence perimeter, engender fiscal aptitude, and re-intermediate intuitive strategies to promote cutting edge principle-centered, future-tested, high-impact, end-to-end mononectal alignment in the center sphere with a total linkage methodology concentration on our player base. And guys, I think what we've come up with is pretty exciting. We all know what's coming. I can't keep it a secret from you any longer. Guys, I am so excited to debut right here on this very stage, Devolver Digital's First foray into the Battle Royale play space. Battle Royale F2W, yeah. yeah! What a play space, am I right? A play space that we believe is the future's future future. Shut your mouth, you miserable piece of human garbage! Oh, shit! Let's get this nonsense started. I read on the internet this one time that some of you had some proper shit to say about our press conference last year. That it wasn't professional. That it didn't feel like a real video games conference by a real video games publisher, what publishes real video games. That it was all some kind of joke. Joke. Well, you were super wrong. And to prove it, we have ramped up this year's Jiminy Thinger to include everything that you might expect from a production of this magnitude. This year, we have overly flashy graphics to distract you from mundane dialogue, guest appearances from personalities that you can recognize and project some misplaced familiarity onto because you have seen them in videos on the internet, and whose appearance will serve to light up a predictable nostalgia response, and it is 2018, and that is how marketing is done now. We also have this little guy, faking like he's playing a new game on the screen, despite it clearly being a pre-scripted sequence, meticulously planned out and pre-recorded months in advance. But what stood out most of all, what really stood out, in the flaming trash pile, idiot island, in the unending ocean of unrequested feedback from last year's press conference was that you, simpletons, yes, you, you stinking bug fuck shit minions, seem to think that we didn't provide enough new games, reveals, first looks, or Whatever else you think might have made your dumb little life a little less pointless in that one moment on the internet that one time. And that, that hit us right in the feels. 
So this year, we are bringing you those new games, those first looks, those reveals for projects that you never thought possible. The first is from Game Pyres. It is their Supermax Survival Sim Scum. You should buy it. It is going to make us huge numbers. It's probably pretty great, but I won't know because I do not play any of this garbage. Roll the garbage! Scum Season 2 is gearing up, with Tech One's most violent offenders on display in our award-winning survival broadcast. With over three times as many drones, viewers will enjoy the contestants' most intimate moments. New weapons and gear elevate the action, but it's the trademark paranoia that drives the savagery to new heights, making Scum a thrill for the entire family. Fear not. Tech One security is on site to keep contestants in line. Oh my. And of course, fan favorite Mr. Smiles is back again for rule enforcement. Scum, welcome to the next era in Supermax survival. All contestant corpses will be reused in scum per government regulations. Well, that looks like a hell of a lot of fun for the kids, am I right? Go to scumgame.com for more information, or don't. I get paid either way. Up next, we have Devolver Digital's newest bleeding edge technology innovation. Loot boxes. Loot boxes have made headlines over the past year, and you, the moronic gobbling maw of consumer idiocy that you are, have shown little to no regret in just plain dumping your money into this deeply insulting monetization model. At the same time, in parallel, it seems we have seen cryptocurrencies roll in and jack punch the global socioeconomic landscape right in the sweetness, creating an entirely new culture of massively unqualified financial experts with absolutely no idea what the shit they are talking about. If there is one thing at Devolver Digital that we love, it is talking confidently about important issues we are completely ignorant about and then fleecing fat stacks of cash out of an uninformed marketplace that really should know better. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I am thrilled to introduce you to our newest product, Loot Box Coin. Loot Box Coin is the world's first cryptocurrency that is so fucking secure, not even the owners know its actual value. Totally unregulated and absent of all civil, governmental, international, personal or institutional liability, Loot Box Coin aims to become the global standard in meaningless wealth acquisition and questionable financial stability. Loot Box Coin cannot be mined, cannot be opened, cannot be blockchained, cannot be walleted or crypto verified. It can only be bought through Devolver Digital with real, actual money you have in your actual bank account. <laughs> Upon purchase, one of our hastily trained economists will create and send you an actual physical loot box coin just like the one I am holding right here in my motherfucking hand. What is it worth? I don't know. What can you buy with it? Probably nothing. Does the US government consider it a form of gambling? Fuck if I care. Loot box coin is available now on the Devolver Digital online store for a price that changes every hour on the hour for no discernible reason. Don't believe me? Well, go fire up a browser and check 
it out. <laughs> We have a game that some of you may have seen on the socials via hilariously violent gifs from developer Dead Toast. It's pronounced and GIFs. Pardon me? Yeah, GIFs. You say GIFs. It's an acronym. Acronym's pronunciation is determined by the creator of the said acronym like a proper name. In this case, the creator of the graphics interchange format, Steve Wilhite, says it's GIFs. Choosy developers choose GIFs. Anyway, here's my friend Pedro. I've never been particularly fond of violence, but these are bad people. Bad people that need to be stopped. So let's get crazy. Let's get weird. Let's get, well, bananas. trend in gaming hardware. Companies reaching deep into their back catalogs to construct cute as fuck little miniature fun size versions of their legacy hardware overflowing with classic games of yesteryear asking you to pay a ridiculous premium for games that you owned 20 years ago and will be utterly disappointed by playing again today. Somehow you all are buying these things up in mass. You are paying triple sticker price to some creep selling them out of the back of his car next to a dumpster out behind Taco Bell and not the nice Taco Bell, but the sketchy one that sells fried chicken and pizza and always smells faintly of a mop bucket filled with purple drink and puke. You love these little nostalgic cash grabs and we have no fucking idea why. But who are we to pass up on this unique opportunity to separate you from your money? Margaret. I would like you to meet the Devolver Digital Entertainment System Classic. This adorable box of plastic and nostalgia comes preloaded with 25 of your favorite classic Devolver games. Jeffrey. Yes, mother. Drop that super legit live demo game controller and come on up here. Show these people the magic that is the Devolver Digital Entertainment System Classic. The Devolver Digital Entertainment System Classic packs an SFPGA processor by Swedish manufacturer Lockhead AB. Um, this is a Sega Dreamcast. Shut up, Jeffrey. Rocking a- You repainted a Sega Dreamcast. Just putting it out there. Look, these aren't even plugged into anything. <laughs> 
This, this is a Metal Wolf Chaos disc that was only released on the Xbox. It's not even a Devolver game. And it's Japanese and not real also. So. Margaret. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hey, hey, whoa. Hey, 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 stop, stop. Hey, stop. Ah. Ah. Now, yeah. it is time for our last game reveal of the evening. I know, I know. But this one, this one will really get the blood flow into your nethers. It is 2004. I am taking you on a journey to 2004. Our good friends at From Software released a game that unbeknownst to them would lay the very foundation for the modern American political landscape. This, this game, this motherfucking legendary piece of cold rolled amazing was forged in the most sacred elements of video game development. Mechs, explosions, and overly dramatic voice acting. Ladies, gentlemen, Holy fucking shit! May I present to you from Software's 2004 Masterclass in Democratic Mech Warfare, Metal Wolf Chaos! Welcome to the White House. Michael! <laughs> Let me see. Bring in the LED. Lock it down. She's on. All right, what's the story? We were able to save her heart. What? I thought we agreed on total body prosthesis. Now lose the heart. Jesus. Did you hear me? Doesn't matter if we're gonna wait for her anyway. All right, yeah, lose the heart. 
on it. You're gonna be one bad motherfucker. Shut her down. We get the best of both worlds. The fastest reflexes modern technology has to offer. On board, computer assisted memory, and a lifetime of Devolver Digital Executive Programming. It is my great pleasure to introduce to you Mina motherfucking Struthers.